Now let us see how you can ensure the compliance of a drive with the 61800-5-1. How you can check that the drive that you are using is really in, in compliance with this new standard. There are three ways to check this. First one is check with the drive manufacturer. Just simply ask the drive manufacturer whether their drive products that you are using uh, are UL 61800-5-1 listed or not. Uh, and also check the UL certificate or online listing uh, that confirms their product compliance with this new standard 61800-5-1. The second method is check yourself on the UL website. You can check the on the UL product IQ, that's the UL web page where uh, the drive catalog numbers are listed and you can check that to see whether the list of those drive products uh, that you are using are certified according to 61800-5-1. The question is how you can do that. Uh, you just have to uh, click the link which is shown over here on the slide and then uh, if you haven't registered already, uh, I encourage you to go and register on this UL web page using your email and password, then log in that same uh, email and password and search using the keywords in the search box which is under the header create a search now. You can use a drive manufacturer's name such as Siemens, drive model number such as Synamics S120 in order to do this search. Or you can also use the uh, drive listing uh, category control number provided by UL which is NMMS. You can use the uh, either the model number and the category control number or you can use the uh, uh, manufacturer's uh, n name either Siemens for in this case and NMMS as the CCN. Once you do the search, uh, the page comes up which will show here in this case uh, for Synamics S120, a motor module or inverter that is investigated to UL 61800-5-1. You can verify the dry product you are using, whether it is certified according to this uh, new standard or not uh, using these keywords. And the last but not least is by checking with uh, the UL directly. Just contact UL. Uh, the link is given over here at the bottom of the slide, which will direct you to the page uh, where the email contact details or and the phone numbers uh, to contact UL are provided. Uh, now let us see what Siemens is offering using its state-of-the-art Synamics uh, low-voltage drive portfolio. The question is, do Siemens make Synamics drives comply with UL 61800-5-1? And the answer is, yes, the second generation Synamics low voltage drives are already UL 61800-5-1 listed. In fact, Siemens was one of the first drive manufacturers to recognize the benefit and enhanced level of product safety that 61800-5-1 inherently offers and saw the value that it provides to uh, its users, its uh, uh, customers, its OEMs, system integrators, and therefore Siemens was one of the first manufacturers to adapt to this standard and modify the design of the existing Synamics drive products nine years ago when this standard was published first, recertify those drives, retested those drives, and uh, got the compliance with UL 61800-5-1, and also decided to use all the drives certified according to this new standard only for all the upcoming products. It was not easy, but it was very uh, value added for our customers, OEMs and machine builders. So we decided to do that uh, ever since the standard was published nine years ago. Um, in addition to the latest technology enhanced safety requirements of UL 61800-5-1, the Synamics uh, low voltage drives also meet the latest and upcoming European regulations, European norms, IEC and NEMA standards requirements to ensure improved EMC performance, product safety, as well as energy efficiency. Here is the link to the Siemens website, uh, which provides the state of the art uh, low, Synamics low voltage drive portfolio uh, of the drive that can be used from very simple applications like uh, uh, pumping or ventilating to more complex high-end applications like positioning and machining and that can be easily configured for cost optimization and resource saving operation to help reduce the total cost of ownership to the users. Um, I have covered a lot uh, so let us summarize uh, what we learned so far. 
uh, UL 61800-5-1 uh, requires the most demanding construction and performance or testing evaluation of the low voltage uh, adjustable speed drives. It requires a greater number of destructive tests representing the real world drive operation and application conditions and therefore uh, more number of or uh, significant uh, large number of uh, test samples or drive test samples are required uh, to comply with all the newly added design and performance requirement in this new standard as compared to the drive which were certified according to the obsolete and withdrawn UL 508C. This is in order to ensure ultimately the enhanced level of product safety. Also, it is important to note here, note here that uh, UL 61800-5-1 is the only available UL standard for the low voltage uh, adjustable speed drives or variable frequency drives now after the UL 508C was withdrawn by UL last year on February 1st, 2020. Uh, many AHJs or authorities having jurisdictions, electrical inspectors, and therefore the end users, customers, uh, many OEMs, several uh, panel builders, machine builders have already been specifying the use of 61800-5-1 certified drives in their equipment and applications. Therefore, for the machine builders system or panel builders and OEMs who have not yet made uh, much modification in their equipment, I would highly encourage you to adapt to this UL change and start using the 61800-5-1 listed drives sooner than later in, in your equipment and system uh, and quickly modify the design of your equipment and replace the old 508C listed drive with the equivalent UL 61800-5-1 listed drives because the faster implementation of these design changes will help you address the new markets, new customer requirements more effectively and it will help increase your market coverage and share. Ultimately, uh, there is a win-win situation for all because the end user and customer uh, will get the latest technology, more safer and more robust uh, drive products. Last but not least, here is the link to the uh, Siemens white paper, which is shown at the bottom of the slide. I would encourage you to use uh, this white paper uh, if you need more information or if you want to have uh, the discussions with your client one-on-one uh, -on, -one on the industry impact due to the withdrawal of UL508C and benefits of using UL 61800-5-1 certified drives. That is all from my side. I really thank you very much for your time and attention. And if you have any questions related to this topic or anything related to the low voltage drive, low voltage dynamics drives, uh, please visit us in a motion control uh, booth today and we'll be happy to assist you. Thank you very much.